Alrighty, welcome back everybody, yes. Welcome look, back. Nine armor. She has eight health. And she can deal five damage to it. Yeah. Huh, so it's not a one to one. It's not one. a one to one ratio. I didn't think it was, because there are some times when like it worked out that it would be one, but it turns out that... It... But if you, if you have more... Wow. If I'm you, just going to go ahead and do that. If you have more health than them, <laughs> maybe then it is for, a one to one ratio. Maybe it's different for archers. Either that, or maybe it's different when you have less health than them, but you're at full health? Maybe it's different for a let? Is that a stretch? <sighs> I'm just going to bring this guy down. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah. He's probably not the biggest threat on the field. It might be this guy, actually. But it's, you know, he's up there. Uh, right, so welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Uh, we didn't do that at all, because we were just <laughs> sort of engrossed in the topic at hand. Um, we're on the bridge. We are on the bridge. We're destroying the bridge. We are destroying the bridge. Even and in though fact, Avend is dead. Avend is, well, he's not dead. He's sleeping. Look at him taking a nap right there on top of his stick. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Avend's fine. Um, he, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, he'll, he'll be all right. He's fine. He's look at him. He's got his stick. He'll be fine. Squish. Uh, squish. Promote. Awesome. Oh uh, yeah. And I avoided the bomb explosion. Isn't that nice? The nicest I thing? forgot that was there. I also <laughs> forgot that was there, but I avoided it nonetheless. Yes. Um, maybe that's how Avon went down. No. Why are you walking away? My trap was. Mm, that's I'm, deeply unfortunate. I'm unbelievably hateful right now. I'm. I'm so hateful. See, and now. I'm just gonna thread the needle here. Yeah, there like. you go. Let's see how much damage it does though, because if it deals shit, I'm never, never using that ability again. Oh, what did that even do? You have to, you have to select the farthest target, I guess. I know. I think that doesn't make sense. I feel like you should just shoot everyone that the needle goes through. This game is a little counterintuitive sometimes. Sometimes. <sighs> It's okay, yeah. though, because it's still a really, really good game. In spite of its flaws, it's an excellent game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what they do in I'm the Banner Saga 2. I'm so excited for the sequel. I cannot, oh, cannot wait. Krumer. Krumer went down, but it's okay. He took down plenty of dredge with him. Well, you'll be remembered. Well, he's not dead. You'll be remembered. Okay, we'll remember him when we're taking care of him at town. Okay. Because the rest of us are going to live through this. <laughs> and... Uh, do I bloody flail him or do I just attack? I'm just gonna I bloody, bloody flail. flail him. Yeah, we're gonna weaken, soften him up a little bit. Soften, soften. Tenderize. You are soft now. <laughs> you are much less threading than you were a minute ago. Uh, still can deal two damage to you though. That's fine. Two is no big deal unless apparently you're Avend and you can't take any damage. Um, I'll do this and we'll take the seventy percent chance of just taking him out. Oh, so we were talking. Got him. We were talking off screen about how yeah. Avend starts off as a level five character. Yeah, he does. He starts off at level five, which means he's the best he's ever going to be right from the moment you get him, and and that's it. That's like, there's it. no he's, control no. that the player has other than what item is equipped to him. Yeah, and even then, there aren't that many items that are good for him because, again, uh, I don't know how he functions. <laughs> yeah, that's that is really interesting. I, like, I mean, do you think that at this stage in the game... So this is chapter five, right? This is the last, or at least supposedly the last chapter. Yeah. Um, do you think they should have started him off as, at a lower level so that we could, like, weigh our options on whether or not we want to put more points into him? I don't think so, because... Well, maybe, because then maybe, maybe there's, like, a learning curve where the player, like, learns how magic functions. I feel like either... There was, like, a greater purpose for magic in this game, or they just didn't, like, think about it. But I feel like that's not it. I mean, as far as context goes, yeah. so what it tells me is that Avend is a very powerful mender. Like, yes. And and it establishes that without even really saying that, even though he kind of seems like a rookie, right? That he single-handedly goes after Bellower alone is enough to tell you that he thinks he has the power to do something. Yeah, and, and maybe keeping him at rank 5 sort of justifies that on a mechanical sense, right? Because if, sure. if he was rank 1 and he was facing off the Then you'd the be Bellower. like, this asshole is going to get himself fucking killed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Either that or menders are so obscenely powerful that by the time they hit rank 5, they're monsters. Sure, of of course, Avon's actual like functionality is pretty contrary to that, but you know. I agree. Yeah. 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 I'm, not, I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna rank up Odd Leaf much. Nine renown, whatever. No big deal. Avon starts <laughs> to rain down lightning at one of the bridge's supports. Dredge respond with confusion, hmm. shuffling away from the area. Then the Varl notice. What are you doing? Shouts Fazel. Several other Varl join him. Avon is locked on his task. Another lightning strike, sending rubble into the air. Stop. The others follow suit, ready to attack. We're going to defend him, right? Because we're bringing down the bridge. Yeah, the I mean, approach. 
At this point, it'd be counterproductive oh, to... Oh, uh, shit. Faisalt is attacking us. <laughs> okay. Uh, but only Faisalt. Only Faisalt. So I mean, he probably has other Varl ahead. with him, Come but uh, this. I'm surprised, like, Krumer doesn't have anything against that. Uh, Krumer lived outside of Einertoft for many years. Yeah, I guess he probably Faisal doesn't really is care. kind of like a, a, like a, a sticking oh, point. Oh, shit, we're actually defending him. Yeah, I'm actually fighting Varl now. Can they actually go over there and kill him? Uh, I don't know if they can go over there and kill him, but they'll do that after they finish killing all of me. There are yeah. five Varl here. That would be a really, like, different scenario if yeah. they actually set it up that right? way. yeah. I don't know if that'd be good or bad. I don't think it would be very good. I think that would be pretty bad. <laughs> I, I, but, like, in terms of, like, gameplay design... I have to kill Faisalt here. Ooh, oh, is that, um... That's the guy that, that's been giving me shit since, like, do you know how many parties of humans I've had to whatever? Yeah, how yeah. How many people I've fought in the last that's something? The other guy, though, um, that's, uh... That's another guy that was in your party. Percy? No, this guy? No, they're, they're all of these guys are just unnamed. Marl. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Because look at their icons. Oh, it's strong arm champion. Yeah. Okay, strong arm champion. It's just reusing Earth, then I guess. Yeah. Well, which we, we talked about. That's that's fine. Especially because the Varl looks so similar. Yeah. Anyway, it's no big deal. Ain't no thing. Hey. Ain't, ain't no thing. All right, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bloody flail this asshole, this Varl shield master. Master this shield, asshole. I feel like my microphone is falling. I feel like you might be correct about that. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bloody Sorry flail if this a lot guy. Of noise. Chop, 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 chop. Two, nice. And these guys are getting in each other's way, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, all right. This is a pretty tough fight, though, all things considered, because we're yeah, fighting a lot of Varl, and Varl are There's usually no, wait, our go-to. Hold up, because my. All right, wait, wait, just one second here. What? Uh, because I feel like I had an ability out for Oddleaf, and it's no longer there. What do you mean? I shot her, like, trap arrow, like, right there, and it's not there anymore. Is it possible that it already was triggered? It might have her been Her turn triggered. hasn't come around. Oh, it might have been triggered because he, he stopped. Yeah, right, yeah. He if walked he's... one space forward and then just stopped in his track. Yeah. And then he's going to get to go before her next time? I don't actually know how Yes, well, well, click on that icon. Okay, yeah, he is going to go before her. So yeah, he is. her using that ability probably affects the turn order. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of damage to him. You're gonna move there and get in your buddy's way, which is Oof. fine with me. Yeah, th this one thing about this game is that they don't really tell you much about how the initiative system works. They don't tell you how anything works. That's, I mean, that's true. I, nothing. Just, that's it. Do they show you how your initiative is gonna change based on your action, or? No, no it only shows you after the decision yeah. has been made. Mm -hmm. So it's hmm. like there's there's a bit of an information dearth, I would say maybe, um, but that's okay. It I, builds I think, mystery. I think it's okay if only because they set that precedence and they stuck to it. Yeah. If they gave us a little bit of something and and like nothing on other stuff. Yeah. Um, it'd be frustrating. Sure. I mean, that's I think that's partly why Avon's ability is frustrating, the arc lightning, because yeah. I feel like the other abilities, it at least is pretty clear who it's gonna hit. Yeah, like if we knew more about it, that it would be more useful, and I think that is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one Varl down. Uh, let's move you... Did the guy just use a taunt? Yeah, he did. That's Faisal. He's the taunter. That's his job. Remember, that, how does that affect our units? Uh, it, whoever he taunts just like straight up attacks him and just deals health damage regardless oh. of his armor. It and happened do last we, time. Do, yeah, we, I, do we actually have no control over Krumer? We have no control over Krumer for the next <laughs> round. Yeah. Uh, he just actually, if you'll notice. Oh, yeah, yeah. there are little icons on there. Yeah. Okay, huh. That's yeah. kind of cool. It is, it is kind of neat. It's I, uh, not often that you see those abilities getting used on your own party. I'll take the 90% chance of dealing four damage. It seems good. Yeah, that's a pretty good yeah. chance. I like having a ton of. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Well, Wow. wow! Why didn't you just kill him? You really—you dodged a bullet him. there, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the AI doesn't choose the most efficient that's choice. That's okay. I'm, but I'm all right. With I that. think that's also partially intentional. Yeah, I, think I feel like if the AI chose the most optimal choice all the time. Then would just we lose. would, yeah, because you're you're lose. always outnumbered. You're always outnumbered. That's true. We are always not outnumbered. not in this fight. It was five Varl on six of us, but I have three human archers with me. Yeah, Ooh. I feel like we're outnumbered due to hey, sheer like yeah. power. I feel like that might be the case. Right, I'll take the eighty percent chance of just taking him uh, out. Yeah, got him. Feels good. Got him. Oh, he not he's gone. not dead. No, but he's sk he skips his turn and he just attacks Faisal. Oh, this guy. Oh, there he goes. 
Okay, um, <laughs> bloody flail, and maybe my brother will take care of you. That'd mean my brother will definitely take care of you. Yeah, sure, taunt me, it's fine, whatever. There you go, got him. <laughs> you know, looking at Avend off, off ahead oh. of you, it doesn't look like he's really doing that much damage to the bridge. Yeah, it's because... Just like, just taking like, pot shots at... Right, he's wearing some holes in it. Oh uh, yeah, that'll do the trick. It won't. In it about won't like a week. Alright, uh, four, here we go. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that we've got this battle. I probably have this one. I am just gonna plunk this guy down a little bit here. Yeah, this guy's probably gonna take out at least another guy. Uh, or he, yeah, two. he's well, he's definitely gonna take him out. Ooh. No question in my mind there. But that's fine. If he takes out a let, I'm also fine with that. Like, I don't care. Yeah, we're probably not gonna use her in the next battle anyway, no. so. Uh and if you Oh right, so uh there is one more opportunity to lose Eagle coming up here. Um which I will not take. I will. Uh, I will probably try and. Oh, his life. yeah. I have, I haven't actually seen this scenario. Yeah, the fourth the fourth option uh, where you lose eagle is when you're fighting from. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We we bypassed it. We bypassed it. Did we? Yeah, because we were the, uh, the Bellor. Uh, no, no, no. When when you have to like defend the bridge for like a couple of days while Ivor recovers, rather than just going straight to destroying it, um, that's one of the opportunities for Eagle to die. If he goes out on the bridge, uh, uh, if somebody goes out on the bridge alone and nobody goes with them, then mm. Eagle will just follow them and will die during that fight. Huh. But if you go out and you fight on the bridge, then you save his life. But you might like get into this really tough fight instead. Huh. So, uh, we already bypassed it, and Eagle lived, so we're good. That's another good instance of the game rewarding you for just, like, being very definitive yeah. about your choices. Yeah. Of course, Got we it. miss a lot of, like, dialogue, yeah. but... Yeah, we do, but that's, I mean, you know, we're not, you guys aren't here for that. You're here to see us win, right? <laughs> Pragmatic. Time, what it's about. Uh, so dead Varl, at your feet, their blood on your hands. You're pulled from the creeping revulsion by a thunderous crack, and suddenly Avon is rushing past. Run! He screams. The stonework crumbles behind you, and the other Varl free, flee for your lives as the flee for your lives. You, the stonework crumbles behind you, and the other Varl flee for your lives. I feel like that sentence is grammatically incorrect. Rough hands from a screaming mob of Varl pull you from the ground to the Great Hall. Oh, right, because we just blew up their bridge. Was there not just one thing I demanded of you? He launches from his throne, pointing an axe in your direction. You've broken this alliance, human. Man and Varl are no friend to each other anymore. Oh, this damn. is my reward for allowing men into Eindertoft. Do not blame all of humanity for my... There is a bustle from the back of the hall. The Varl part around a shadowed figure entering the room. Jurunder, enough. This fight could not have been won. They did what you were unwilling to do. Enough of this insolence. I want these people out of my city. You'd gladly let your, our whole race die? There's nothing glad about it. There are no Varl being made tomorrow or a thousand years from now. We are all there is, and we will all be gone someday. What? The gods made a limited amount of Varl at the beginning, is I think the way that it goes. They can't reproduce. They've been a, they've been a dying race from the beginning. Oh, shit. I think I knew that, but, yeah. like, didn't quite grasp. You've destroyed what we have made. What else is left of us? Will we leave no trace behind as if we never existed? We have nothing left but ruins. Now get out of what is left of my lands and my city and never return. Oh, that really, like, brings home the point you were making about oh, le leaving a legacy. Is, there, there isn't a... Yeah, that's that's what I mean. It's the... Jorinder is concerned because he knows his race is at an end. He knows that the end is here. And the only thing left of them was the bridge. And now... Now it's Damn. broken. And now we're out with no huh. supplies. You know, this game really does have a lot of themes that revolve around legacy, too. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of the banner. That's the whole point of the banner is is show me mom's section again, the mm -hmm. part of the banner where their mother exists. And yet at the same time, it's, it's also, if you think about the banner as being the tapestry of the world, you think about the parts of the world that you are written into. And you think about all the parts that came before and all the parts that come after that you will not be a part of. Huh. Yeah, that's deep. I like it. Well, anyway, we'll pick this up in the next episode. Yeah, we will pick this up next time. Um, what do we? What's the pragmatic choice here? Uh, move on, saying a blessing for the lost. A bunch of our people died in an avalanche. Do we just leave them? Yeah. We're going. Yeah. No, they are out there. If you won't look, I will. Others join her, but the vast majority gather and move on. All right, later. Well, you're just clansmen anyway. You don't do anything. Two of them, though. I mean, yeah. we're going to lose a shitload because we have zero days of supplies. Extremely weak morale. Do you like lose the game if you lose all your clansmen and everyone dies? No, nope. we were going to continue in the next nope. episode, weren't we? You you don't lose the game. I've lost all my clansmen and oh, just kept yeah, really? trucking on. Oh, <laughs> you lost? No. Are you? Okay. Well, well anyway. There, but I'll join you. Anyway, question of the day. Um, I want to ask about. I, I know we keep asking about Avend, right? Yeah. Um, but I want to ask about like starting him off at, at rank five. Do you think that? Um, do you think that's necessary? Do you, do you think it's both necessary, and do you think that 
uh, it would be. I mean, I mean, what ways would it be bad to not have him start at level at rank five, right? Yeah, Ubin. Ubin has joined us. All right. Well, we'll see you in the next episode. Sorry, I'm moving along. <laughs> I apologize, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, folks. <laughs>